Lightspeed came in, uh, we gave them basically a footprint of our warehouse and told them basically pretend there's nothing in that warehouse, do it the most efficient way that you know how. So they came in, they gave us a nice layout of exactly how it would go, it was all scaled out, and we just went in after the fact and built it that way. Now it did create a lot of work on our end as far as redoing the warehouse and still operating our company, but you know, at the end we got it all up and, and it, that, that help was invaluable. Otherwise, we would have had no idea how to actually set it up without reworking it 15 different times. We have a rectangular shaped warehouse, so we, we had some limitations as to how we could set it up. Uh, so there was really only one real way to be able to set it up, and Lightspeed kind of you know, showed us that. Well, the first thing we'd do would be planogram everything for Lightspeed and make sure everything is on the proper rack in its proper location and definitely spend the time doing that and don't just mail it in if you will spend the time because you're going to end up spending the time anyway do you, where do you want your snickers bar do you want it the height wise on the racks you know things like that do your people have to bend over to get to a very high volume item you want to kind of you know not do that if possible so put all those things into thought kind of make it like you have to fill the order yourself so <laughs> selfishly kind of make it so it make the job as easy as possible. If they have to go through the line and they have to reach up, it's obviously a lot easier than having to bend over five, six hundred times a day or whatever many times they do it. Every single turn you can try to eliminate steps. Uh, we even moved our printer right at the very end of our last snack item. So our, our uh, pre-kitter did not have to walk the additional ten feet that we were making her walk every single time she went down the aisle. At the end of the day, they're going to be worn out because of that. So if we can help in that regard, we're definitely going to do that. So we went candy first, so that's at the bottom, because it's going to fall to the bottom regardless. So you might as well put it there so it stays organized and where you put it so your driver can reach in and grab multiple bars at once as opposed to having the bars fall all over the, you know, the case in various places. And then cookies after that, the next heaviest item. And then after that, it's all depending on your particular planogram and the items you carry.